Today, for the first time since his sentencing for killing his wife and son, he faces charges of stealing settlement money from friends, colleagues, and clients. Correspondent Jonathan Sari reports tonight from South Carolina. Wearing an orange prison uniform and shackled at the waist, convicted murderer Alec Murdaugh was back in a South Carolina courtroom. The judge set a November 27 start date for his financial crimes trial in the case of Gloria Satterfield, his longtime housekeeper who died from injuries after falling on his property back in 2018. The disbarred low country lawyer is accused of pocketing millions of dollars in settlement money owed her family. This is about allegations that represent an assault on the state judiciary. And because of that, they need to be answered. As Murdaugh's attorneys prepare to defend him against state financial fraud charges, they're trying to overturn his March 2nd double murder conviction in the 2021 shootings of his wife and son. They're asking for a new trial based on disputed allegations that the clerk of court attempted to influence the jury. But the defense team confirmed Murdaugh plans to change his plea in a federal financial crimes case when he appears before a U.S. district judge next Thursday. We'll be filing a formal plea agreement probably tomorrow where he has agreed to plead guilty to all the pending charges. An attorney representing some of the victims of Murdaugh's alleged financial schemes believes he knows why the defendant would cooperate with the feds while he fights the state. Then Alex Murdaugh goes from state prison to federal prison to club fed where it's much easier and safer to serve your time. Eric Bland says he has no doubt Murdaugh will spend the rest of his life behind bars. The question is whether he serves time for murder, financial crimes, or both. Brett? Jonathan Sarian, South Carolina. Jonathan, thank you.